According to Nationwide Children's Hospital, each year roughly 1 million children in the U.S. will experience their parents' divorce. When it comes to custody, the needs of children are a top priority. A Georgia woman says the fight to keep her daughter in her home almost led to her wrongful arrest. Investigative reporter Brendan Keefe explains how three law enforcement officers stepped in and called out one of their own in uniform. Drug agents set up covert surveillance on this quiet Griffin Street. The anonymous tip to the head of the drug unit said a woman had illegal drugs with a young girl inside the home. So far, we've found nothing. Records show it was a suspected narcotics distribution center, so Spalding County deputies kept watching the house. All they saw was Macy Jones and her three-year-old daughter with no signs of illegal activity. They've done surveillance for two or three days at least, and they haven't seen anything. The three sheriff's office drug agents became increasingly suspicious of that anonymous tip and of their own commander. The investigation shifted from the mother to the head of the narcotics unit, Lieutenant Chris Boyles. Where did you get the info for the, from the complaint? Tyler Andrews, I've known him for a number of years. The source of the anonymous tip wasn't just a close friend of the drug unit commander. Tyler Andrews is also the father of the little girl. Did Tyler ever have any conversation with you about anything related to if Macy was arrested, this would help with custody cases? He did say that if she got arrested, it would probably help. I'm like, yeah, it probably would. I'm sure a drug arrest for somebody wouldn't look good in uh, civil court for child custody. An arrest of that person that you were investigating could weigh the outcome of a court proceeding. Why didn't you pass that on to the agent that was investigating? I didn't see it as relevant at the time. All I said was that if she were to be arrested, it would help in Custody court. case. Custody case, yes. At uh, no point was I going to use my position to help him in any way. The sheriff immediately fired Lieutenant Voyles, ending his two decades on the force. We uncovered the case file a full year later, and as soon as I saw Macy's name, I called her from the sheriff's office parking lot. To assist a personal friend gain custody of a child through deceitful means. My first question was, did they tell Macy? Because no, this would- No, you were the first person to tell me that. So they never told you? No. Were the police gonna raid my house and kick my door in with my daughter there and take me in cuffs in front of her? If those drug agents hadn't stepped up and, and turned in their own commander, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. Right, yeah. I would love to meet them and tell them thank you because you're right, if it weren't for them, who knows where we would be? My daughter may not even be with me. I may be behind bars. Why didn't Sheriff Dix just pick up the phone and call you and tell you this right. happened? Even as a courtesy, that's that's what I would like to know. I mean, if, my, if I was that close to, you know, losing my daughter, going to prison, completely ruining my life, and someone lost their job over it, why would you not call me? All right, here correspondent is now in session. Now a judge will hear the case. Macy Jones is using the sheriff's office investigation in a bid for full custody. Macy Jones versus Marcus Andrews. Sitting right next to Andrews in court, his friend and now former lieutenant, Chris Voyles. The sheriff filed paperwork with the state, which revoked Voyle's police certification. He can never be a cop in Georgia again. I don't want to see another innocent mom go through this. The father, Tyler Andrews, would not do an interview with us. He did not testify. In fact, his attorney didn't call any witnesses at the next hearing. The same goes for Lieutenant Chris Voyles. He was in court, but was not called to testify. The judge gave the father supervised visitation every other week on a temporary basis. But for now, the mother has sole custody. In Atlanta, I'm Brendan Keith.